Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Soto Supreme, and welcome back to Pillars of the Earth. And where we last left off, conspiracies are abound. Now, we just received the confession from Earl Bartholomew. And. Wait. I can't let anyone know what Waylon and Henry tried to do. Okay. I doubt anyone would even be surprised what a fool I was. All right, so let's just tell them that we got the confession. Let's just go up front. Right. Leave castle and return tomorrow. All right, I don't know what the point that would be. But he asks for clemency for his children. Good. I will let my brother know what we have achieved today once he returns from the hunt. Good, Philip. You did well. Let's talk about his children. About Bartholomew's children. My brother was never one to judge a man by the deeds of his father. Still, I shall mention Bartholomew's request to him. Something tells me you guys aren't going to do that. Maybe I should come back tomorrow. Yes, there is not much a monk can do here. Yes, your bishop and I will do what we can to help your priory. Oh, great. Here My loyal subject, Percy Hamley, today becomes the Earl of Sharing. Of the former Earl's possessions, Percy shall have the castle. And all the land that is tenanted to knights and all farmlands, pastures, forests and quarries. I swear by all that is holy to be your liegeman and to fight for you against any other. M my king. Ah, yes. Of course, I have not forgotten the worries of my bishops. Mm. The Earl of Sharing himself, Percy here, solved this problem for me. Thanks to him, I can uphold my promise. Don't worry, Bishop Waleran. Kingsbridge shall be rebuilt. Percy told me of a man here whom my brother has not yet introduced. Come forward, Pra. Ah, uh, shit. What did he say? My brother, may I present to you Philip of Gwynedd, my king. You seem afraid. What are you worried about? I guess they were worried about the cathedral. I'm worried about my priory and the cathedral. I heard about the fire. How are you managing? On the day of the fire, God sent us a builder, but we cannot pay him. Don't worry, you can. Now, about the arrangement between you and Percy Hamley. He told me that he wants to support you in financing timber and stone for your new cathedral. Mm -hmm. I wholeheartedly agree with the plan you two have devised. What Shall plan? Done. But... Thank you, my lord. It seems unnecessarily complicated to give the land to the bishop. Percy told me that you, Father Philip, share that sentiment. Ah, oh, shit. He told me it was your idea to take up the burden of managing the rebuilding of the cathedral yourself. Ah, uh, shit, I... I knew it. Wonderful. Ah, uh, shit. I'm glad that we all were able to help you, Bishop Waylon. You in this bitch. Matter. After all you've done for me. Thank you, Lord King. Bartholomew lost everything in his attempt to end my reign. This morning he was found dead in his cell. I've heard that you, Pra, worry for his children, Richard and Aliena. Yeah, he was murdered. While they shall lose their status, their name, and their land, they shall go free, wherever they are. You must be very proud, Lady Hamley. Oh, God. Of course. Father Philip has been very understanding. Father yes. Philip's gonna bitch slap you. Yes, he is remarkable. Very remarkable. Oh, God. My husband and I were terrified when we heard about the... Wellerin is pissed. It is a blessing that we 
can help him in his fiery manner. You sowed the wind, Philip. Ah. Yep. Looks like we're gonna have another issue to deal with. Brother Philip, <laughs> can I see the catch break? Just with this sinister music. Alright, so let's see how we fucked up. <laughs> he went to see Bartholomew in his cell. He rode with William to the bishop's palace and uncovered Rylan's secrets. Rylan's servant thinks you are a thief, a thief and is suspicious of your motive because he saw me take hay from a barn and the apples and he's salty because like I came up there with William and William was acting like a perverted fuck. Ah, great. It's just more stuff Brother Philip has to deal with. Hamleys made it look like you struck a deal with them. Bishop Hanlon believes you betrayed them. Well, I mean, I could have went with the deal with them. But it's the main thing that held me back from that deal was just William. If William did not do all that shit, like that attempted no-no with that lady at the river, that attempted no-no with the servant boy of the bishop, like if he didn't do any of that, I would have been somewhat more okay with it but no he he went overboard he he confirmed his sick fuckery and because of that he needs to die laying in this game he is going to die i i hope i get the opportunity to end him we are at chapter seven i think this is the last uh chapter of this uh segment of the game because this game is like split into three uh books and this one the first one is, is like one ready? through seven Yes, everyone will be there. Chapters 1 through 7, I should say. Oh, it looks like the cathedral's being rebuilt. But how are we to pray and contemplate like this? I don't dare even to send my choir out there. We shall get used to it, all of us. Yeah. We must be thankful for all of this. For each noise, each face that disturbs us here. Yeah, this place is getting rebuilt. Wait, we monster. shall start with the chancel, then gradually My work man. our way from east to west. That's the way it's done. The way I was taught to do it. I value your enthusiasm, my dear Mason, but so far we're only cleaning up. I haven't even considered hiring a master builder yet. Neither you nor anyone else. It's Tom Builder. I'll show you some drawings. By all means. Look at this. Tom Builder is the artist. You look here first. Imagine you're standing in the center of the nave, looking at the wall. This is what you see. Tom Builder, man of vision. Windows. Right, but that's not all. On top are the clear story windows. On the lowest level uh -huh. are the pillars of the arcade. They're joined by arches making up the bays. Through the archways you can see the windows in the aisle. Shall I go on? Yes, yes, of course. I was just thinking. Tom Builder going. is showing why he is named Tom Builder. He's a fucking genius. Don't Starting doubt the right Builder. The is the Tribune Gallery. I can see you've put a lot of thought into this. I was just wondering... How long would this take to build? You can take your time with that answer. Fifteen years with thirty masons, eight to ten years with sixty. So we can say eight to ten years with sixty masons, or fifteen years with thirty masons. Hmm. So it's like we can get it done quicker with more guys, but there'll be less money to be around. We can do it a little bit slower with less people. What's this a species? Well, that depends on how many people you employ. Yeah. It's if you hire 30 masons with enough laborers, apprentices, carpenters, and smiths, they will be done in 15 years. I wish my monastic officials had your ability to think ahead and calculate. Go on now, show me the rest of your drawing. All right. 
It seems like practical because I don't think they're gonna hire like a whole army of guys. Let me tell you more about the walls. Oh god, I didn't even really uh, get back on this one. <laughs> I thought it was something different gonna pop up. Let's talk about the floor plan. When we walk around the site, we mark where the walls will be, the pillars, the doors, and buttresses. Now for that, we need a plan like this, to tell us where to place our pegs and string. Is this how birds would see <laughs> our <laughs> Exactly. This is how birds will see our priory. <laughs> the nave is on the left, it has six bays. And the chancel? The chancel will have four bays. Hmm. 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 I can see the transept is two bays wide, so it will be twelve in total. It does look splendid, but isn't that rather small? Yeah, it would be smaller, but not less impressive. It would be smaller, but not less impressive. I guess a small cathedral would be closer to our means. It is still all so uncertain. Percy Hamley would support us with timber and stone, but how do we pay the workers? That's the shenanigans I thought they were finished. But only God knows if it will be enough. I don't suppose you have any idea how much this would cost. Shit, no. 3,000 pounds at least, pessimistic. No more than 3,000 pounds, optimistic. I say Tom Builder isn't a pessimistic bastard. The only time I've seen him pessimistic was when they first got to Kingsbridge before it burned down. That was the only time I've seen him really pessimistic. Uh, Well, he is. Well, he did abandon his baby. Well, Let's say, Tom, he's an optimistic fellow right now. You can see that look, right? He, he's trying to impress the children. Look, let's just say. I know exactly how much this would cost. No more than 3,000 It would be no more than 3,000 pounds. I've spent the last few weeks working out the annual income of the Priory. Here's the answer. 300 pounds a year. And we spend every penny. So, I need to find 200 pounds a year. It doesn't sound so bad when you put it that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. You really want to build this cathedral yourself, don't you? He's Tom fucking Builder, yes, of course. He wants to build this cathedral to himself. Master builder. Do Why? it, please. Because it gives meaning, because I want to fully exercise my skill, because I've seen it done badly, because it will be beautiful. You know what? Tom, it gives meaning. Because he wants to give people hope. Is that so? Oh, Martha. Then answer me this one last question. If people were to enter your church... What image would they see crowning the tympanum above the entrance? Hmm. One of Judgment Day to teach people to be good? Or one of Paradise to remind them of God's mercy? Show them hell so that they're afraid to do bad things. Jesus, mm, Martha. I'd rather see trees and animals. Oh, Jesus, this is between those two, so remind them of God's mercy or warn them of Judgment Day. Again, Martha, that's kind of fucking dark, but I get where she's probably coming from with this. <laughs> Let's say because the baby remind them of the Lord's mercy. Actually, no, no, this is for William. I'm doing this specifically for William. When he comes back in the church, I want him to be warned of Judgment Day. It should be a promise that evil will be punished. Therefore, it will show the Day of Judgment. Hmm. Jack! Milius, is there news of my brother? Did he just kick the no, thing? No, uh, unfortunately not. 
no one has seen or heard from him since the bishop and Percy Hamley were here. Oh, I think Jack wants well, forgiveness. Oh, that makes more sense. Statues? Oh. That's enough, children. It's time you went out and played. Listen, I'm not about to build no fucking statues. I'm building a entire th cathedral. <laughs> Give me some Tom time. I'm Tom building, right. not Tom fucking yes? Henry. My first wife. <laughs> she died without a priest, and she's buried in unconsecrated ground. Sometimes a man builds a chapel. Or founds a monastery in the hope that in the afterlife God will remember his piety I just wonder do you think my design might serve to protect Agnes's soul God no longer asks for blood sacrifices for the ultimate sacrifice has already been made but the lesson of hmm. Abraham's story is that God demands the best we have to offer that which is most precious to us so you must ask yourself, is this design the best thing you could offer? Except for my children. Yes. Then rest easy, Tom Builder. God will accept it. Yes, Tom. You must fulfill your destiny and build this cathedral. For it is you. Oh, contract of employment. I, Philip of Gwyneth. In representation of Kingsbridge Priory, hereby assign Tom Builder as Master Builder for the construction of Kingsbridge Cathedral. The Priory will provide £200 a year to be used wholly for materials and craftsmen. The pace of construction shall be adjusted accordingly and adhere to plans approved by the Prior. In exchange for his work, Tom Builder and his family are to receive a private house and the right to attend all common meals of the Priory contract is subject to change with the priory's financials and give future prospect oh my screen is fucking off okay there you go gives us future prospect of additional payments to compensate for the master builders work signed prior philip of Gwinnett and tom builder yes tom oh there's me mum and there's fucking alfred i wonder if he's gonna be normal where do they put all the horses? Look at this. Unfriendly monks. I don't like them. They always shout at me as if I was stupid. I'm not talking to them. Tom said it takes many years to build a cathedral, but only one night to burn it down. Did I do right? Oh, uh, did you? Hey, mom. She's even all the way. And the monks. Hi, Jack. mom. Do me a favor and give Paul these herbs, will you? I hope Tom doesn't knock you up. But he's a monk. Just yet. You don't like monks. Well, it turns out not all of them are bad. <laughs> <For me. laughs> so, be careful before you trust any one of them. Uh, there he is. Ah, oh, shit. Yes, yeah, Tom Builder. Welcome, he deserves. Oh, it's the prior. Oh, um, you know, I am only following God's will. Prepare to raise the bell. Make the prior proud. <laughs> well, um, uh, I know thank this is you. a celebration of Tom Go Builder. On, Jack. But Don't Philip forget about Paul's well. herbs. Where have I seen that woman before? Mother gave me these seeds. We have to give these to Paul. He's Alfred. Why is he so friendly all of a sudden? He hasn't hit me in weeks. Because I gave him a piece of chicken. Um, hey. What are you doing? I'm supervising. Tom asked me to. We see eye to eye now, you know. He asked me things and I can say yes or no. Huh. Hey, did you tell him that I had trouble with him? Let's shake this. Let's shake it. Right. I have to carve up some steaks later. Just keep if you it want, you can help me. Or you can do whatever the hell it is you're doing all day. It's your call. Alright. So, at least Alvary does like us a little bit better. He's still a, a bit of an ass, but eh, it's progress. Any progress is good progress. I go in here and breaking the brother Phillips like that. <laughs> All right, let's go to brother Paul. All right. 
See, like this church, this is like cathedrals coming along nicely. Look at that. Oh, there's Brother Paul. Look at the sheet. Like, look at this. Everything is coming along nicely, including that guy on the roof. Hand that damn roof as hard as he can with a hammer, I'll tell you what. Let's see, he looks. Let's give him the herbs. This is from my mother. For your arthritis. Oh, bless her. Boy, whatever Remedia says, your mother is a saint. What what does Remedia say about me, Mum? Oh, is that the bell? Oh, Can yeah. you see it from here? Oh, they raised it. Huzzah! Well, without a cathedral, your father certainly had strange ideas. <laughs> it might be. What's a bell? Are you ignorant, boy? Don't make me beat you. Might be as smart as that. Is that Aliana? Excuse me. It is. Jack is gonna be like, Lady Aliana. You. I remember you. You're the boy with no father. Actually, I have two fathers now. Oh God! <laughs> Is that so? Yes. Tom Builder and Jack Sherbug. I thought you weren't the Builder's son. Well, I am now. Whatever. I have to say. Pyre Philip told me there would be a lot of sheep here. I can see he wasn't exaggerating. You know Philip too? I do. He's the reason I'm here. Is he around? He should be around somewhere. Busy man, that fellow. But don't worry. You probably won't have to look for him for long. All right. Thank you. All uh, right. Jack is like, she is so pretty. There's a lot of fucking wool. Holy shit. <laughs> I just realized that. Who is this? Who is looking? Is that the horseman? <gasps> and that's fucking Willie. I can tell by the douchebaggery aura. Shall we go after them? It's William and Walter. No. Now we know where we can find them. Oh shit. William. Ah, oh. They just ride off somewhere? Oh my god, he is gonna be so pissed at me. <laughs> He's gonna be so pissed. He's gonna get his revenge. My bishop, William Hamley has returned. Is he gonna say? So I hope he doesn't say something like you will be absolved if you kill Philip." Oh, shit. we have much to discuss. Yo, my God! Ooh, so let's see. What did we do? You gave an optimistic estimation of the cost of construction. You chose an image of Judgment Day for the new cathedrals. Tempanum. Tempanum. You haven't heard anything about Francis for a while. Lady Aliana. Why does she want to talk to Philip? Bishop Wanglerin began scheming against Kingsbridge. You finished book one. Oh, yes and yes and yes indeed. We have finished the book one. One. Next time on the Pillars of the Earth, oh, here we go. find out what happened to me and my brother Richard after the siege of our father's castle. What will the future hold in store for Kingsbridge? The Pillars of the Earth, sowing the wind. Well, well, well. Looks like we are going to hop into episode two, or book two, I should say. Holy crap, that was a pretty, like, <laughs> crazy first episode. I mean, all in all, this was like, the first episode was actually pretty damn beefy. This was like a couple hours to uh, finish. Can't forget as a cantor. 
man. Oh, so right now, uh, as we just saw, Bishop Waylon is pissed because Reagan and the Hamleys have just told everyone that we're trying to screw up everything, and like now, Bishop Waylon is gonna plot against us. Hamleys don't like us, especially William. William needs to be like just put down completely and utterly. So let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. What's gonna happen now? I'll skip that in case it's not copyright. Okay. Alright, so next up we shall go on. So but actually, no, you know what? No 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 no. Let, let's see the opening intro to book two. Let's do that before I wrap it up. But let's see, because we got a little bit of time. Let's, let's see where we start off at. My name is Aliena of Shiring. I'm the daughter of the Earl Bartholomew of Shiring. At least, I used to be before my father was arrested for conspiring against the king. And a man I had once refused to marry took control of everything my family had ever owned, including ourselves. Earl's cast. Oh, Jesus. Where's the girl? She is where you put her, you fiend. <laughs> Once the king finds out... Here's the key. Now go get her. I'm starving. Let me guess. It's the broom man. Let me sleep here while we should is enchained to the stables. I'd rather be there than this close to William. Alright, we can let's do like a couple minutes of this. My robe, my dresses are all gone. Reagan Hamley took them. Why am I fooling myself? There is nothing left. Milady, are you awake? William Hamley is back. He wants to see you. Oh geez. You may come in, Matthew. Dear God, did he hit you? Well, I suppose he's getting more daring now that his father is about to see the king. But, this oh, is taking yeah, too long. Go get them. Right. Milady, I must ask you, do not provoke him. Not yet. Not until you're properly armed. Did you get weapons? Did you get the weapons? Oh, shit. Yes, I hid them up on the wall. Near the gate. Look for a red piece of cloth. Okay. Get down here. And no talking. And don't cause any trouble. I just cleaned my sword. Alright, look for the red cloth. Great, now we gotta talk to this prick. Oh, that was quick. You certainly do know your place, don't you? Ugh, what's with your face? Your arrogance makes you ugly. Did you know that? All right, let's try to keep it cool for right now. I didn't sleep well. Were you lonely? We've all been sleeping poorly the last few weeks. Your father will be the new Earl soon. This castle will be yours. There's no need to keep the lady and her brother hostage. Matthew. Mrs. Beaver. Save your words. He won't listen. <laughs> Oi, Walter. Looks like the princess needs a servant to do her talking. Can't imagine why I ever wanted to marry that ugly bore. A real lady. That's what I deserve. Maybe even Empress Maud. 
Yeah, I doubt you would get an empress. Yes, I'll marry the empress. But I'll keep on fucking her. As if Maud would ever marry you. Shut up! I won't. You have no say around here anymore. I am still the daughter of your Earl. Oh, shit. You're a common whore. That's what you are. Oh, <laughs> how you must enjoy your revenge. You're just getting what you deserve. <laughs> All this just because I wouldn't marry you? Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> you are a sad man. <laughs> that who knows weird. nothing but cruelty. God shall punish you for this. <laughs> I am the cruel one. You renounced our wedding and made me the laughing stock of the entire Shire. Oh well. Stop, both of you. I bet Walt is always like the voice of reason. Eh? This is good. All right. I shall do so gladly. Anything you need, William? Tell the bitch to get me something to eat. I'm starving. Excuse me? You heard him. Go. Now. I can't eat. He better give me a choice to spin that shit. Henley wants me to get him some food. I'm gonna get him some food. I always told you your stubbornness would be your end. Jeez. <sighs> There's Walter, he's chilling by my Ali? What are you doing here? Shut up. And you get the food. Alright, it looks like we can't talk to her. Let's stop her really. Ali? Good. Actually, can I talk to him? Richard, did they let you go? Have you sided with them? Don't be ridiculous. Why I will you never say succumb to these like that? beasts. <laughs> beasts? That's a bit rude. How are you managing? I'd be managing a lot better if you gave me a sword. <laughs> did he say something funny? Oh, that boy with a sword. Look at his back. He can barely lift his own head. Teach a chicken to fight. Might as well just step on it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just ask about... Have you seen my red scarf? Come on, let's do this. Stealth mission. Is that all you worry about? I think Matthew had it last. He said he lost it somewhere. Then ask him. I'm busy trying to come up with a plan. Richard, god damn it. I'll be back soon. Don't lose hope. Yeah. <sighs> Lori. You could have answered it normally, but instead you had to whinge. Near the gate, Matthew said. Nothing. Maybe Matthew meant the other gate. You stay down here with me, do you hear? All right, all right, all right. God damn it. Oh, poor, Flemish, here, girl. Poor doggy. Don't you recognize me? Ah, oh, good girl. It must be hard to catch my scent in this rain. One more step, and I'll assume you've got a death wish. Oh, for Fuck's sake, Walter. Stop being such an asshole. Alright, here. Alright, I'll get the fucking food for that son of a bitch. I swear, I am going to kill her. Oh, yeah, rotten food stores. What the fuck am oh. I gonna get here? It smells horrible in here. Wait a minute. Let's see. A loaf of bread. And it doesn't look as bad as everything else in here. Alright. What about in the barrel? Oh, 
Oh, that. A dead chicken. What a horrible smell. Someone must have trapped it in here for fun. What a waste. Yeah, with us. There's a level of sick fuckery that's going on around here. No, I won't touch that. It smells horrible. I mean, we could get on the bread. I'm not putting my hand in there. Yeah, she. Disgusting. Uh, I guess we gotta go with the bread. She doesn't want to touch anything rotten. Can I take some Not even worth trying. Oh, we can't use it's those to be him. All right, all right, all right. Walter, you ninny, where, what are you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, really, I'm gonna die. Can I pet the doggy? Good girl. <laughs> Can we talk to Walter? You do a lot for him. Tending to his horse, watching his prisoners. What do they pay you? Why do you keep asking me that? I might be able to pay you more. You be, right. You're not in a position to pay me. Tell us. How much do you want? Maybe I don't do this just for the money. <laughs> I don't believe you. What else should you gain from... From being cruel. An apprentice. Unlike you, Percy Hamley likes the way I've been raising his son. So, you've been raising your, his son as a Sith Lord, I've seen. You will go to hell for this. You will go to hell for this. I know he doesn't care. I've been hearing that a lot lately. It's true. People like you are bound to suffer eternal pain. It's what makes this world just. Oh, I didn't know. Guess I'm just not one for deep thoughts like that. Alright, I'm not even going to bother asking him to let us go, because I already know how that's going to fucking turn out. Eh, alright. Spraying William his fucking bridge. Did you get what he asked for? Yes. Yeah, we got the Good. fucking. Don't waste his time then. Lord, all we need is like just the one opportunity to find the weapon. Matthew. He's all right. Now get some food, will you? Oh my God. William, you son of a bitch. Here. Yeah, I'll get you a fucking bowl. You want? No one's been washing the dishes. The bowl is spreading. As soon as we get rid of early, on Matthew will take care of it again. Okay. God. Here, here's your fucking bread. It's all we got. You want the your dead food. fucking chicken? You lost the fucking bucket. After your knights raided the castle, this is all they left. There must be more. Does it? Oh, this guy. Does it matter what you choke on? Don't you dare! Come on, what are you gonna do? You really think you can play your silly games with me? I am still the daughter of the Earl, and by the law of the King, you are my subject. Oh my. Forget what I said about your arrogance. It actually makes you quite pretty. Huh? In the name of my father, you will die for this! What the fuck? Master Richard, don't! Oh, for God's sake! Stupid boy. Almost as stupid as his sister. I'd rape you if I could. What the fuck? But you're not my kid. Jesus! Now. What's with her? She dead? Leave her. The king has not yet spoken. Wait till your father is an earl proper. 
Then you can do with her whatever you want. Damn! To hell with it. She's so ugly, no one would ever want to take her anyway. Put them with the animals until the king has decided. Oh my fucking god. For the love of all that is holy, William fucking Hamley, I am going to carve you the fuck up like a Christmas goose when given the first opportunity. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Oh, God. He just threatened Aliana's brother Richard with rape and murder. And I think he just cut off his ear. Well now, we if I do not get retribution, we're gonna put down William. We are gonna put him down and we're gonna put him down hard. It, I, I hope, if anything, it'll be amazing if Tom Builder kills him. If, if Tom Builder's like, oh, you don't mess with me, bitch. I'm Tom fucking Builder. I'm a goddamn icon and smack you upside the head with a hammer. <laughs> well, now, looks like we are going to have a lot of dirty work. We're going to have to clean up a lot of dirty work we are gonna have to clean up sowing the wind book two chapter eight aliana yeah he just cut his ear At least he's asleep. Remove your chains. Alright, so I I'm actually gonna wrap it up right here. Okay. <laughs> this is like a good spot to leave it at. We we're gonna. Oh god, that actually scared the shit out of me. <laughs> okay, so when we return, we're gonna help Aliana break free with her brother and hopefully turn the tables on William Hamley. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, helps out the channel, subscribe if you would like to see more, and with that said, I shall see you guys again soon. This is Solo Supreme, and have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.